Citing health reasons, longtime NDP MLA Maureen McDonald announced her resignation today. Although firmly on the left of the political spectrum, tributes for the veteran politician are coming from all sides tonight. CTV Sarah Ritchie has more. Welcomed by cheers, Maureen McDonald announces her resignation as an NDP MLA. I have loved representing Halifax Needham. It's a seat she's held for 18 years. Citing health reasons, McDonald says her decision has nothing to do with the party's recent change in leadership and direction. An MLA this job is 24-7. It's become harder for me to do that. McDonald has held a number of cabinet portfolios. After the NDP formed government in we 2009, she was named Minister of Health. Doable. The best day was the day that uh, we unveiled the, five, the first mental health strategy for the province. She went on to become finance minister in 2012, the first woman to hold that position in Nova Scotia, introducing a balanced budget in 2013. I guess the only regret I would have is that we didn't get a second term. The party suffered a major defeat in the 2013 election, one of only seven NDP MLAs elected. McDonald assumed the role of interim party leader after Daryl Dexter stepped down, becoming a strong opposition voice. Maureen has been a a dedicated member of, of this house, he deserves the respect of all members of this house. We don't always agree on public policy, but uh, we respect her ability as a legislator. Her constituents lose a very strong voice here at Province House. All Nova Scotians lose a MLA who believes strongly in making this province work for everybody. McDonald's resignation leaves the Nova Scotia NDP with only five seats in the House and only four sitting members for the spring session, which begins on Thursday. Leader Gary Burrell does not have a seat. Burrell declined to answer questions about whether he will run for the vacant seat, saying the focus should be on McDonald's career. These were tremendous accomplishments in a short period of time, which were largely made possible by the grasp and the force and the commitment uh, that uh, Maureen has always brought to her work. There's no word yet on when a by-election might be held. And it is up to Premier McNeil to call that by-election for Halifax Needham. Technically, he has up to a year to do that, although he said today it won't take nearly that long. It's likely the election will be held after the spring session. As for Maureen McDonald, she uh, says she'll still be involved in her community, but for now she says she's taking some time to travel and rest. Bruce. All right, thank you, Sarah.